Dayton Bissett, everybody. My name's Dayton, uh, and I don't understand why, because my parents aren't from Ohio. They're from Oklahoma. So I asked my dad where my name came from, and he was like, well, I was dating your mom. Yeah. Which, honestly, that makes a lot of sense, because my brother's name is Buttfuck. He was a miracle. Uh, I started comedy around the same time Louie got canceled for uh, jerking off in front of women. And I was like, fuck, that's why I got into this. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I'm not really sure why I started comedy. Um, I think it's just because I've always been a big fan of it, you know? Like, when I was 10, I wrote Robin Williams a letter. It just said, kill yourself. <laughs> he didn't respond. <laughs> All right. How long have you been in Austin? I just got, like, I drove 12 hours last night from oh, Kansas City. Really? Yeah. You drove, like, last night, like... Yeah, I left at, like, 6 p.m., got in at, like, around 5 a.m. Wow, look at you. Where yeah. are you staying while you're here? I stay with my pal. He's okay. Comic, yeah. So you went straight there at 5 a.m., yeah. took a little nap, woke up. Yeah. And you've been in the bar next door waiting. Yes. And you got pulled out. You have a good look. You have the little star power. You look like Logan Paul with leukemia. It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. What do you do for a living that you had to drive 12 hours instead of buying a flight? I, I've been living since I moved to New York just off stand-up. Oh, boy. Road. But it's not, I mean, going, I've got to get a job. What type of job are you going to look for? I don't know, just something that uh, they don't rely on me. What have, you, <laughs> what have you done before? What is your experience? You could be an Ozempic I'll, salesman. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was a uh, lifeguard for like five years. If I was fucking drowning and I saw you, I wouldn't even <laughs> yell help. I would just let, yeah. fuck it. Exactly. Can you help? Nah, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> I saw two guard. kids die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Did not you? kidding, yeah. You saw two kids die? Yeah. Really? Yeah. At the same Why time? Why are you laughing? No, yeah. Why are you? You were the fucking lifeguard and you watched two kids no, die? No, I wasn't involved. I, I did CPR. I know you weren't involved. <laughs> that was the problem. No one thinks you were holding their heads down. <laughs> You watched wow. that while you were lifeguarding? Well, I was, uh, the first one was in 2019. I was on the top of a water slide, and it happened. And the, uh, this is and a God forbid you should slide down. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm on top of the slide. <laughs> it was at the wave pool, and a kid was under for a long time, and he was like How do you know blue. he was under for a long time? Because you were fucking watching. <laughs> yeah. You are not a good at guarding life. <laughs> Two drownings is a lot for a lifeguard. You might be one of the worst lifeguards I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah, the uh, manager, the <laughs> the manager of the water park I worked at when the ambulance was still in the park, he made me uh, go up to the family and offer them dip and dots. Are you fucking serious? Uh, that's not a joke at all. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my god, they lost their child. They didn't know yet. Oh. <laughs> So you're going to surprise them. They're going to go, look, we got free dipping dots. Right. We got free dipping dots. Wait, let me finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is that true? Do you offer them dipping dots? Yeah. And then family. who broke the news to them that their child had died? I don't know. I was gone at that point. You're Here's just your the dipping dip dots guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Here's some dipping dots. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Ty Marion is next. My little brother is half Mexican, a professional clown, and a gay. But none of those are what's really annoying about him. What is is he feels like he's got to be included in everything. He's a little cholo, bozo, homo with FOMO. You know? YOLO. Uh, I think my best friend, I think my best friend's starting to go crazy. He just recently bought one of those lifelike sex dolls. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the other day I went to his house. When I walked in, he was crying. He was holding a pair of these underwear. He was screaming at that doll, whose underwear are these? And man, when I saw this as his friend, I knew I had to be supportive. Especially because those are my favorite underwear. <laughs> My 
my dad is my dad is trans, but it's cool because I never see him. Y'all know what it's like having a transparent transparent. <laughs> Thank you. Ty Marion. Okay. I get it. You kind of have a little trademark. You're like a little pun wordsmith. Like He's a wordsmith. A, yeah. You got funny words. And you don't have the face of a guy that would be a wordsmith. No, more like a blacksmith, probably. Yeah, there you go. You just did it again, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at you. You're a little trickster over there. I love it. You've been on this show before. You have a face yes. that's kind of memorable, like a, like yeah, a melting yeah. pumpkin or something like that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you made fun of, everybody actually made fun of it. Y'all made fun of last time I was on, you made fun of my complexion. What did I say? It, you just said basically, essentially it made it sound like I was brown, round, and had downs. Is everything that you kept saying. <laughs> that sounds like one of your jokes. That's his thing. Hell yeah. Are you high? A little bit, yeah. High on marijuana. Yeah, I did some edibles earlier. Okay. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> What else about you? What, do, what, do we, what, what, what can we talk about that we didn't find out about you last time you were on the show? Any fun facts about Ty Marion that would surprise yeah, us? Yeah, uh, I used to play music um, before anybody makes me drum off or anything like that. And like, I literally used to press play on buttons, play music. I used to be a DJ uh -huh. um, in the San Antonio area in the early to mid-2000s. Um, toured, did some of that stuff for a while. That was fun. Why'd you leave it? Uh, I had the, round, the wrong people surrounding me. They were more interested in getting their dick sucked every night than helping me get to that next level. Um, even though I was opening for big names, doing hundreds of people, thousand people in the crowd. At this point, fuck them. I put it all on me. Uh, I'm going to bet on myself, and uh, I'm going to do it with comedy now. And right. You never got to take your DJing to the next level, and that kind of bothers you. Uh, I mean, not... Nothing he, rhymes yeah, with much. DJ. Well, he never got to DJ in his PJs on a PJ. Actually... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know what that sound means. <laughs> Actually, go, you had something. Uh, no, I did DJ one time on PJs. Uh, you got I, a BJ I was, on a PJ. I actually did get a BJ. got caught by the owner of the club one time while I was in the booth mixing it. And the only thing I was told was, hurry up, see me in the office afterwards. And I was given a high five. So it was a pretty good day for me. You left everybody else you were working with because all they wanted was their dick sucked. But you got fired for yeah. getting your dick sucked. Exactly. See, they wanted what they couldn't have, and I'm having it, and so they were just jealous. You were able to get hard while exposed to an entire audience? Well, there's like a, like you guys are sitting there, you're in a booth, you can't really see anything below here. Right. And so there was a conveniently little cutout area she sat down on. And Did you have like a face where, you yeah. were, where it looked like you were oh, getting yeah. a BJ? Was it like... <laughs> it <was> like <laughs> yeah. Uh. Is it like that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, she was waiting for the drop, too, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That little fucking little dead mouse in her mouth. <laughs> What's a one-night stand with Ty Marion like? Uh, typically, just because I don't want them to know where I live, I always ask to go to their house. It's not like I live at home or I'm embarrassed in my place, but typically the bar that I go to to hook up with, it's, it's a block and a half from where I live. Uh -huh. So I'm not trying to walk over there and then walk them home and they have to walk them back to their car. You know what I mean? Right, so there's I know, a lot like of walking. Yeah, yeah, like Uber that. home. You know? Right. Okay, wow. What a, I'm telling you, people are going to watch this and you're going to get so much pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, because that's yeah, yeah. what women want. They want a man. I'm not going to... No, you'd be surprised. I would be. I would be. <laughs> it would actually be surprising. I'm looking at the face on the women, and they're yeah. going, oh, look who I'm with. Why can't I have him? No. Yeah. She's looking at me going, who the fuck is this guy? And sweetheart, guess what? When I woke up this morning and rolled over in bed, I also said, who the fuck is this guy? I have a drinking problem, okay? So, um... <laughs> How's it, it going? Give it to Tony. How's give it, it to going, Tony. Mr. Yeah. Patterson? You're on with Tony Hinchcliffe live on Kill Tony with the great Howie Mandel. Oh, my goodness. Y'all done made my day, man. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, your son made my day. Your son is fucking brilliant. Your son is a superstar. Well, thank you. Thank you. You proud of him? Oh, uh, uh, man, I'm, I'm more than proud. But you get that shit from me, though. You got <laughs> Mr. Mr. Patterson, you know, this is an improvised segment, but I, I just thought of what I think is a good question. Is there anything that, like, embarrassing from Cam's childhood that he might not want you to tell us? Uh, oh, that's fucked up. It was <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick turn. 
You know, it took it took Cam until he was to go to count the ten. So yeah, that's just <laughs> wait, wait, how old? To go to the can. Don't tell people that. He's not Wait potty trained. He's not potty trained. No, no, that's not what he said. Go again. Go ahead. Say it again, Mr. Patterson. Yeah, it took, it took Cam until he was uh, 12 years old to count the 10. <laughs> <laughs> I might be retarded. <laughs> he can't spell good. Tell him to spell firefighter. Spell firefighter. You can't spell good. All right. So the word on the streets, Mr. Patterson, is that you're not a very good speller. So without Googling, we're going to give you a word. And right off the bat, you have to you have to spell it for us. Are you ready? No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he know he can't fucking spell. Yeah, that's where I get it from, man. Wow. Yeah, that's what a dictionary is for, Tony. <laughs> That's what the dictionary is. I, I, I can always go, how do I not tell I go Dog. To, go I dog. Go, go, dog. Go, go, Quickly. Go, 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 dog. Right there. Spell dog. No dog. Spell who? Dog. Are you saying dark as in dark ass? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't saying dark ass. <laughs> I, love that. I love that. That's the reference that he used. Dark as in dark, dark ass? ass. Oh, oh, Someone's dark been ass. called dark ass before. <laughs> Someone's ass is a couple shades darker than the rest of his body. <laughs> dark ass. Dog, like roof, roof, like a puppy. Dog. Are you saying dog? Yes. Yeah, dog. Come on, man. Come on. I can handle that. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> I can hear your thumbs typing. Why are you, why are you Googling dog right now? <laughs> Come on, we all waiting on you, Pop. All right, dog. Yeah. I told you, that's, that, that's, that's easy, man. I can take that one. That's no problem. It's okay. been 10 fucking minutes. <laughs> he's, he's flying. It's already a problem. <laughs> He's flying wow. through the pages of the dictionary right now. He's looking up D A W G and he's like, where the fuck is this goddamn word? It starts with a D like in dark ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here it is. Spell dog. Are you saying dog? <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> you can spell dog, man. You're making us look bad on national TV. <laughs> you know, you know, in our culture, in our culture, we, we, dog, dog is a uh, dog is. Are you saying dog as in my brother dog? A dog as in bark. <laughs> well, that's barking. <laughs> whoop 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 whoop. <laughs> yes, the whoop whoop. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's an easy one, man. Give me some, give me something else, man. Give me something. Okay. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. Here we go. The word, the word in which you will spell is the word nicotine. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were bragging about how easy dog is. You're pretending like I'm being. Is the he bathroom. high? Is he? Did you <laughs> no. sell something to your pop? Give me, give me, give me, give me it, okay. How about cigarette? As no, in. Give me, give me nicotine in a sentence. Okay. You nicotine <laughs> in a sentence. You use nicotine in a sentence. Yes. Here it is. Here's a sentence. My uh, my dark oh my ass God. friend smoked a nicotine filled cigarette. <laughs> With his dog. <laughs> All right, here you go. Mr. Patterson spelling nicotine. I believe in you, Pop. I believe in you. Mr. Patterson, uh, Mr. Patterson got a problem with that one. <laughs> Mr. Patterson got a pass on that one. Pass. All right, pass. so we're passing. Uh, pass. Okay, okay. P A S T. He's passed Pass. on that one. P A S T. He passed on that one. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I actually like this. Welcome to another episode of Spelling B E T, everybody. Here we are. Here's your next word. All right, oh, here we go. I know, I'm not letting them off the hook this easily. I'm going to make them try to spell something. Your next word, since you passed on the last one, is guitar. 
Oh, that's easy, man. You got that. I don't think it's easy. He hasn't spelled a goddamn thing yet, so I don't think any... <laughs> he tried to make the noise of a dog and went... <laughs> are, you saying, are you saying guitar or guitar? Guitar. Guitar. Like, like Matt Mewling plays the electric guitar. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's nice. No, that's not a step. That's an example. He wasn't giving you a fucking fact. And that's, that's nice. I like. He plays guitar. That's nice. That's a good thing that he does. I'm that. glad he plays guitar. That's good for that boy. Hell yeah. That's dope. You got to keep playing that guitar. He play it real right. well. I like him. Without, without looking it up, this is your chance. Spell the word guitar. Uh... Uh, I have to pass on that one. Got <laughs> I just love the attitude that he has. Like, come on, man. Dog's too easy. <laughs> yeah. Guitar, uh, I got to pass. I got to pass. P-A-S-T, pass. <laughs> He's nicotine in a sentence. Oh, man, that's funny. Wow. Man. I told you he can't You know, the reason it. he couldn't count to 10 till he was 12 is your fucking fault. <laughs> <laughs> Leather. Spell the word leather. Oh, dad, that, that easy as fuck. We got this. You, you're messing them up when you tell them it's easy. <laughs> easy as fuck. Nothing no. is easy. Leather, go ahead. I, all those words, you, all those words you give me is very, very easy. I'm a very good speller. Okay. I, I'm on, I, am I on the TV? Am I on the show for real? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I got bad news for you. You are, and you've spelled nothing so far. You, know, you, don't have, you have my picture up there. You show my picture saying this is cameras. Well, we will put it in. Does he ever text you anything? <laughs> Tell, yeah, all the time. Do you know what the fuck he's saying? <laughs> nah, I never, never makes <laughs> sense. Give us leather. Come on. It's a real challenge. Go ahead. Leather. You got this. Bones Eye makes leather joke books. Go ahead. It's your he's turn. Gonna go, That's You're nice. going to spell it. It starts with an L. Here you go. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't spell that to me. Come on, <laughs> come on, please, just try. Please, let, we just want to see how you would spell it. Wow. Let me tell you, he didn't want to say that, he retarded. I ain't that retarded. <laughs> now, I, I might make, I make it one little wrong, that all of a sudden, it's not only Cameron that's retarded, it's his daddy retarded too. <laughs> Will Loden, everybody. I don't know if you can tell from all this, but I clearly front porch sit a lot. Uh, yeah, I got me two lazy boys that I scotch guarded the shit out of, and, and I'll wa oh, light up a Winston and watch the world go by, you know? I love it. I saw the cutest dog the other day. Cutest little dog. He's, he's a little Welsh corgi. He had a bandana on. <laughs> And his name was Winston Churchill. Oh, my God, he was so cute. I just started petting him. I go, hey, who was the Secretary of Her Majesty's Navy in 1920? You were. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Who said we would fight the Nazis on the beaches? We would fight them on the seas. We would fight them everywhere. You did. Hey, who left 20,000 men to die in a botched mission during World War I? You did, Winston Churchill. You're a bad dog, Winston. You're a bad dog. When you got to it, I'm like, this is not the end. This is not the beginning of the end, but it may very well be the end of the beginning. <laughs> it's a Winston Churchill quote. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Are are you, is it? Yeah. Wow. I'm, 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 into, wow. Uh, I'm into a lot of World War II memorabilia, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Make some noise for Uncle Alphonse. Are you dating? I do. Yeah? How's that going? I mean, it seems pretty good. So we're talking to the it seems pretty good. Yeah, it, it seems, seems pretty, pretty good. good. Sorry, I'm nervous hell, but yes, it's, it's been good. Just I mean, to I've been judge how you gauge. Like, if I hit like, out there on camera like, right now, I'll be like, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> I believe uh, what he's trying to say is he's a rapist. <laughs> Wow, it went from being a joke to actually being scary. <laughs> yeah. You're a foodie. I'm a huge foodie. So I know, you go to the best, the finest. Well, you know. Five-star Five restaurants. Five stars, over a thousand reviews, you know. I, I could tell. Credible. Where you head after this? What is the restaurant of choice tonight? So I did actually uh, Alexandra Steakhouse. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it was great. It was good. No, I, no one's heard of that. It was, a hundred steakhouses in Austin. I've, no one's heard of Alexander's. <laughs> Anyone? Uh, Alexander's? No. No. Zero no. percent. Was it crowded? Was it, it crowded? Good. It was pretty good, yeah. 
Yeah, it's it not was. real. It was. It was part of the ass. You know what it was? It was you alone, and there's mirrors on the walls. You're going, look at everybody. Yeah. Look at that. Everybody's braided and eating steak. Yeah. What's the significance of the mustache on your calf? <laughs> Good question. So I actually have a few of them. Um, Mustaches. You've got one on your face. Yep, one on my face, I one guess on my so. finger, one on my calf. It's got three um, mustaches. So for the mustaches, it's honestly just something that I started when I was younger. I had a few friends that committed suicide, so I created <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So I started a little group, and it was basically just kind of like a gentleman's thing where a bunch of people came together as men, <laughs> were able to talk the shit out. <laughs> I know. It's a, this bucket. Sometimes, I mean, <laughs> you know, live by the sword, you die by the sword. So this five is like a fucking show. bucket list. Yeah. What this is? Aaron Belisle, everybody. Some parts of AGT were really weird. I don't know if Terry Crews was nervous or confused, but he kept hanging his big black microphone in front of my mouth. I knew this was gonna happen, but I didn't think my BBC story would happen live on America's Got Talent. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Moan into it. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> I'm just glad he didn't fuck me into a wheelchair. great time uh, working at AGT while it ha <laughs> what was happening and I loved you when you were on it but uh, that was a uh, you're great you're great you're always great but uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get in I don't I like the job yeah no doubt so I, well, there were three deaths four deaths yeah uh, that guy had or five that guy had the mustaches all yeah. over him. the two kids yeah uh the suicide that guy lost his father yeah um all his friends committed suicide and yeah. you just killed my fucking career yeah uh, do you guys want to call my dad he can't spell either what does he do what does your dad do what does your dad do Disability. But he's on disability. Wow, it runs oh. in the family. <laughs> and nobody runs in that family, it seems. <laughs> Joe! Hello, Joe. How you doing? I, I can hardly hear you. I know. As you could tell, even though I'm calling from Aaron's phone, I'm not Aaron because I don't sound like a robot. <laughs> this is uh, Tony from Kill Tony. Your son's on Kill Tony right now. Where It's a special episode where we're calling dads. You're live on the air with Howie Mandel and a million plus people watching. Well, I feel real bad for all of you as you got to listen to him. <laughs> well... Well, most of, the, most of the set that he just performed, we weren't listening. He was just sucking somebody off. Yeah. My dad's a prick. That's what he was sucking off. Well, he's just jealous because it'll never be as big as his dad. Damn. I've seen it. It isn't that big. He just said that yours isn't that big. Dad, what do you have to say about that? Well, uh, that means he's got nothing. <laughs> what, were you, were, you, uh, were you drinking or doing any drugs when you made Aaron? Oh no, it was just, it was mushrooms. <laughs> this all makes sense. And we sense. stayed in the woods for a long time. We had a husky and that's why when he talks, it's <laughs> Amazing. Dad, we got to keep it moving. Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, your son is absolutely killing it. Congratulations. We'll talk again soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you. America's Got Talent really let me down. I still haven't gotten my citizenship. So, Howie, I was just wondering if maybe 
Would it be cool if I fuck your daughter? <laughs> oh my goodness, he couldn't do that one on AGT. <laughs> you know, it's good. That is... You, she, Keith Cordes, everybody. Dating's kind of hard for me because I'm like a Delta pin at a smoke shop. The people who like me prefer the illegal ones. <laughs> but I still try to have fun with it, and the only picture I have on Tinder right now is a bee and Cam. That way, if girls ask which one are you, I can say I'm the black guy. <laughs> And I had this one girl reply with, I'm not really into black guys. Do you have the white ones number? And I think she was trying to flirt, but being the charming black man that I was, I was offended. <laughs> what she said was rude and hurtful and shallow. So I sent her a message and I was like, bitch. <laughs> I'm actually super white. Can you come over right now, please? Hell yeah. What is it's, it? What's your hat say? I got it. I'm coming out with it right now. <laughs> Old enough to fuck. Oh, shit. I yeah. love it. New Heath Cordes merch. Explain your what? condition to Howie so that he understands exactly what we're dealing with. How do you... Explain your condition to me? It's, I don't, oh, yeah. I don't you're I don't you're a germaphobe. My bad. Yeah. Why do I have to touch yeah, you Yeah, to I never washed condition. my hands, so you made the right call. That's a condition. Yeah. That really yeah. is. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Is it a, he doesn't look Howie? a little young to you? <laughs> isn't, isn't that he? No, we're in Florida. We're ne we, you're not from Florida, right? No, I'm not. I'm oh. from Alabama. There's something wrong with me okay. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. funny. Thank you, Howie. You're I think welcome. you're funny. Thank you. Yes, sir. Is it, what what is the what is the what is, what, is, what do you what the what fuck do you are you call talking it? Your about? pituitary pituitary gland. shit. Jesus That's Christ. what I call it. Pituitary shit. Are you a good swimmer? Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah. So I, like I suck guts? at everything athletically, really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what so about T-ball? T-ball? I'd smash him T-ball. Hell yeah. Yeah. Do you do, are you, how long have you been doing this? Two years. Two years? You're yes, really sir. good. Yeah. Thank you. And where do you that. live? Do you live here now? I do, yeah. Oh, wow. I think that you get, you should do something on television. I would love to do like a, a prank show with this guy. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's do it, Allie. I would love to do a prank show. We yeah. Should, we should, I want to get your number or figure out how to get in touch with you. Yeah, I love that. Yes. Man. Yeah, Allie. Yeah. I love it. Because I love I think. <laughs> yeah. Listen. This is a great if, idea. If you're going to have an issue in life, the issue should be you look like a good-looking young kid. You know, yeah. that's yeah. A, that's not a horrible issue. Yeah. I mean, it's, well, you're okay, <laughs> no. right? You're no, okay. I'm with having it. fun with it. Do you date, really? I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like older women? Yeah, I'd be down. What's the oldest woman you've ever been with? I've never been with a single woman, Howie. <laughs> yeah. Howie, how old's your daughter again? <laughs> Good night, everybody.